Hey everyone, Alex of BP Auto Sports back again with another super video. So I mentioned in the last video that I plan to build a muffler for the car and today the video will centralize around that. So on the ground here, I have a piece of perforated sheet that will serve as the inside of the muffler to allow the sound to get absorbed by the packing material. I have a piece of seven inch uh, eighth inch wall aluminum tubing that I don't think I'm going to use because I think it's a little bit too small to match up to the tip properly and the tip is right here it's a six inch tip that I rolled a five inch to six inch transitional cone for and you get a better handle on this you can see if I slide this into the seven inch tube that would serve as the muffler body it's a little bit too close on the outsides to where I won't be able to make a cap piece and weld it together properly. So I ended up having to weld the tip directly to that muffler body and I think it would look kind of odd. So I had ordered a piece of 8 inch tube. It'll be here later this week and we'll have to wait until then to put that together. However, I can roll the perforated sheet into a 5 inch diameter tube and the 8 inch tube that I ordered for the muffler body is 12 inches long, the same as the 7 inch piece. So I can get everything set in stone as far as the length of the perforated sheet, the inlet to the muffler, and get all the innards welded up for it. You just have to wait for the 8 inch tube to come in. So we'll start this off by taking the perforated sheet and rolling it into a 5 inch tube. So in order to do that, we'll come back over to my handy Harbor Freight 3-in-1 uh, sheet metal tool that you guys have seen me use before. And we'll come to the slip roll portion on the top. And I'll be using that to roll this into a circle as opposed to just being a flat piece of sheet metal. So the way that this works, you have adjusters on the back that see it moves that backside roller there and as you apply more pressure onto the piece and continue to roll it through the circumference or the circular shapes of these dies here the rollers will cause the piece to be rolled up into a circle and there's obviously three of them so these front two it pinches the piece down between it and the rear as it adjusts inward will cause the piece to get rolled and so on and so forth until you have a round piece as opposed to a flat. So let's go ahead, get started, and start making this piece of flat perforated sheet into a tube. After a little bit of forming that you guys just saw, I have a round piece of perforated tubing. So <coughs> I went ahead and I took two pieces of five inch aluminum tubing and used them to essentially dolly this piece of perforated sheet into a tube. Now I have to go through and make a cut along right here as if I spin this around, and you look on the inside, you can see that overlap of the two edges of the piece of perforated sheet. So I'm gonna go drop the angle grinder through, make a cut right along the seam, so that way they are, or it matches up essentially perfectly. At that point, I can weld the two halves of the perforated sheet together. Then it will be one piece of perforated tubing and it will be ready to become the internal baffle, I guess, for the muffler. So we'll go ahead, knock that out, keep moving. All right, here we are. Have our piece of five inch perforated tubing now done. Went ahead, got the weld seam knocked out. Not the prettiest in the world, but you're also welding. I mean, the thickness between each one of the little perforated holes 
not the easiest as far as heat control is concerned. But got it done, and that's now one thing knocked off on building this uh, building this aluminum muffler. So the next order of business is I have to figure out what length of perforated tubing is going to be the best for fitting into this muffler body. Now this section is 10 inches long and the tip itself or the muffler body itself rather is 12 inches long. So I need to figure out what length I need to cut it to because you have to keep in mind that I also have the width of my rolled cone right here that needs to fit inside of the muffler body and a few other odds and ends will have to go in there. So it can't be 10 inches overall, otherwise the perforated sheet or the perforated tube now would be sticking outside of the inlet side of the muffler body. So once that cools off, I will take it and do some measurements and figure out what length will be most applicable, drop it in the bandsaw, cut it, and at that point we have our perforated tube done. And with that, we have the core of the muffler complete. Sitting right here, let's look at it. So, we have six inch tip, five to six inch transitional cone, five inch perforated tube, and a five inch stub piece that will connect to the existing exhaust. Now I went ahead and I measured the overall length of this, and it's right around 21 inches. So, what I did, was come over here to the exhaust and I made a mark right here at 21 inches. And <clears throat> where this mark is located at, it will set the tip somewhere roughly in this area so that way it isn't as recessed as this exhaust that is on here currently is. And it should look, or it should make for a very nice aesthetic on the rear of the car. So the next order of business will be to drop the existing exhaust down out of the car. I'll make a cut at this location right here. Once that cut is done, I can put the muffler innard up there and we can slip that seven inch muffler body over it, see how it fits to the other components up underneath of the car, being this bracket off the bottom of the frame rail and whatever else is under here. If it fits well, I think I have a way that I can make that seven inch body work with the tip that's on there without having to cut another cap piece for it. But let's go ahead, get this cut, check it, and we'll see, uh, we'll see if it works out the way that I want it to. And just like that, we have a muffler core that will work with our seven inch tube. So what I did is I welded a couple layers of buildup onto where the tip will mate to the muffler body. And if I set the core in here, we see, set it so it levels out but we see that it hangs up there. So this diameter is close enough to weld the core to the muffler body. So the next order of business is I'll have to run and get some fill material, which I'm just going to use fiberglass for it. Chop the fiberglass up. Uh, I'll have to weld these two pieces together, which I may as well just do that first. Then I'll have to fill the muffler body with the fiberglass. And the final order of business will be to make a cap that has a five inch hole to allow our inlet to go into it and a seven inch outer diameter so it matches up with the outside of our muffler body. So I'll go ahead, I'll get the muffler body prepped. 
and then I'll determine if I want to weld the core to the body now or wait until I have the end cap made, have the muffler filled, and everything tacked together before I weld it. So let's go ahead and get it prepped and get this thing tacked together. All right, there we have the muffler body tacked up to the core. So see the transition there, see the perforated sheet, or perforated tube now rather. And only things left to do at this point are to fill the body with packing and to make a cap that is five inch ID, seven inch OD, that will allow me to cap this off and to make it function as an actual muffler. So I need to run down and get some packing material, fill this thing full of fiberglass. And once it's full of fiberglass and I have that cap made and tacked on there, I can weld this up and the muffler will be complete. So let's go get some packing material. I'll be back in a little bit and we'll keep rocking with this. All right, just got back, got the packing material for the muffler. And I also went ahead and drafted out the circle or did the drafting for the end cap rather. So what this is, it's a seven inch diameter circle, center punched. I'll, I will drill through that, use a hole saw to punch a five inch hole, then walk around with the angle grinder to cut the rest of the circle out. We'll true it up on the old belt sander there. And at that point, I'll be ready to pack the muffler full of fiberglass and weld this, or tack this cap on, and we'll be ready to weld the muffler up. So let's go ahead. I'll get this end cap cut out and we can start finishing this muffler up. All right, went ahead and I got my cap all cut out and fit. Now slide her on there, get her aligned properly and it fits kind of one way on this. It isn't exactly perfect, but certainly will do. So now I'll take my handy Bondo fiberglass mat and I'll try to tear this up and pack the muffler body full of that. Once the body is packed, then it's weld time. So go ahead, get this fiberglass put in there and we can get the welding. As you saw, the muffler's now welded, it's all done, and I kind of jerry-rigged it on the back of the car, so let's go take a look at it. So, walking along the bottom side of the car, and boom, there we are. That thing is massive. Backside view there. It's almost kind of comical, but I love it. It's the exact angle that I wanted, and it will fit and work quite nicely. So it's just zip tied in place for the time being. And as you see here, I'll have to do some modification to alleviate that bit of a gap there. More than likely end up cutting this section of tubing out and replacing it. But I'm going to wait to do any of that until I get the downpipe made, as it doesn't make sense to lock the rear section of the exhaust in when the front may end up moving in the space that's allotted for it up front. But, man, let's see if I can get a little bit different angle of it. 
So let me step over the boxes here. There's a side angle. That looks awesome. And one test I always like to do is the old knock test. Doesn't sound hollow, so it means it's packed appropriately, or at least that's how I judge appropriate packing. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked with how that came out. A little bit different angle there. The old under angle. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. So muffler's done. That will pretty much wrap it up for this video. Uh, I don't know exactly what we'll do in the next one, but something cool. But until then, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and until then, we'll see you later.